this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Esther the Chicken. I'm going to be joined also by... Alpha Lee! Good morning, Lee! If you're feeling in a good mood today, Lee, run around my bedroom backwards. <laughs> the other backwards. Woo! Woo! I'm in a good mood too, so I'm gonna do it as well. Woo! 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 Oh, I'm banging into all of the furniture. Woo! Ha ha ha! Ah, I did. It's exciting. Episode number 199 in my lovely world. We're so nearly there. We have so nearly done 200 episodes inside of Stampy's lovely world, and I'm so excited. The only appropriate way to celebrate is with breakfast. And today, I've decided to eat a cake. Nom 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 But don't worry, Lee. I may have eaten the entire cake, but I have not forgot about you. I have something very special for you, Lee, that you could eat as well. A nice, big, red, tasty apple. Whoa. If anything, I'm a little bit jealous. All I got was a cake which we have every morning, but lucky old Lee, lucky special Lee was able to eat a nice lovely apple. Tuck in Lee. Don't wait for me. Don't mind. I'm okay. I've had my cake. You can, you can gold down that entire tasty apple all by yourself. <laughs> or, or you can have a cake yourself as well. Up to you. <laughs> evil will do. Evil will do. Oh, did you hear that? I heard a pop. I heard a pop. That's good timing. There's an egg there you can go and grab, and we can go and play the egg throwing game. And there's only one more target for us left to hit. Should we see if we can do it? We both got one throw. One of us has got to be able to hit it. The final one. We took so long hitting all of these, way longer than I expected. And as always, Lee's going to go and try and spin in a circle. His head looks like it's on backwards. <laughs> and he throws. And as always, it is completely wide. And no, you're not having another go, Lee. I saw you grab another egg there. Right, I'm going to do it this time. Line it up. Slow and steady. A little bit right, a little bit left. My thumb's a bit shaky on the analog stick. And throw. Oh, slightly too short. Maybe, maybe in the 200th episode, we're going to finally get lucky and uh, be able to, to hit that target. Anyway, uh, let's go off now and head to the Love Garden and uh, see who is going to be added to it today. So if you don't know, I'm sure most of you do know, but if you don't know, at the beginning of all of my videos, I add someone's name and assign to my Love Garden and say thank you to them. And today... I am adding Ella, and uh, Ella sent me a, a picture of loads of stampy cat things that she have, uh, that she has, and her grandmother actually made them all for her. And see, there's like a top and uh, a pillow and all sorts here, and uh, I thought it was absolutely amazing. And so I wanted to say thank you very much, Ella, and thank you to Ella's grandmother uh, for uh, taking the pictures. And yeah, I just thought it was really cool. So welcome to my love garden. And anyway, I'm going to mention what I'm going to be building today as I go and head to the uh, the doghouse and uh, pick a dog that's going to be uh, joining me for the video. Uh, we're basically going to be building a hot air balloon. In my 200th episode, what I'm going to do is fly over my entire world from the skies in a hot air balloon. Uh, but to do that, I of course need to have a hot air balloon, and I don't have one yet. And so hopefully, uh, we're going to go and get the, the entire thing built today. Uh, and I'm going to be doing that with Sherbet. Let's have, have Sherbet joining us today. And who's growling? Someone's not happy around here. And where's Sherbet? Sherbet's the one with the, the very shiny coat. And here's Sherbet. You can see Sherbet always hangs out underneath the torch. So <laughs> yeah, his uh, coat can gl uh, glow and glisten uh, inside of the uh, the torch light. And uh, we're going to be building building it uh, over there, over nearby where my rocket is. And oh, hi Lee, what's, what's Lee doing up here in the farm? Let's go and join Lee and uh, let's go and uh, head over to where we're going to be uh, building the, the hot air balloon. And we're going to go, <laughs> are you hiding in the sugar cane, Lee? <laughs> You're actually uh, pretty well hidden there, to be honest. Right, so let's go over and uh, head uh, to where it is where we're going to be uh, building. And uh, there's basically just a little bit of open ground over here uh, where we think we could probably just about fit one in. And whoa, did you see that pig just suddenly jumped up? Hello, pig. Hello, piggy wig. You're a friend very friendly piggy wig, aren't you? So that one's shy in the background and this one ran over to say hello. Let's give it some wheat then, shall we? Do we have some, do we have some wheat down in here? Uh, here we go. There's some, some wheat in here we can go grab. Oh, I might grab some more of this uh, orange wool, actually, while we're here as well. I might need that. But let's go and grab some wheat, shall we? Let's go and give them both a piece of wheat. Maybe we can get a little baby piggy wig. Here we go. Not so shy anymore, are we? Oh, no. You don't give them wheat anymore. You need to give them carrots, don't you? I forgot about that. Right. 
while we're here, let's go and grab some carrots then, shall we? And uh, let's go and see if we can we can feed our piggy wigs. I didn't plan to do this, but might as well be nice to my animals as I'm as I'm passing by. And uh, whoa, Lee, you got here very quickly. I'm sure you were over there a second ago. All right, let's go grab some of these carrots. Let's go and plant uh, a few of them back down, and then I still have two left. And oh, excuse me, excuse me, Sherbet. <laughs> the carrots are the exact same color as your collar. I just realized that. And let's go feed the pigs, and then let's finally go and start building the um. Uh, building. Oh, actually, something I need to show you uh, before we uh, build the hot air balloon is uh, Fred's room is now completely finished. And uh, basically, we added just the, uh, the few last signs. And oh, Fred's actually in here. Fred has actually decided to come and hang out in his room. <laughs> you can see what we did is we um, we uh, put down a sign saying his favorite blocks and uh, a rose here for a special person. And uh, here's his massive bed down here, which he, he lies across. And uh, there's actually one more thing that I want to add. Sorry, as always, I'm getting very distracted. I will eventually build a hot air balloon, I promise. Uh, but I wanted to add uh, an ender chest uh, because I think that would make sense and you need um, I think it's nine pieces of obsidian uh, obsidian one two three four five six seven eight nine and then uh, an eye of ender as well so I'm going to give him a, a nice ender chest seeing as that is the uh, the kind of chest that he would uh, like to have and so I also need uh, blaze powder I believe uh, to make an eye of ender and so if I grab a blaze rod, I should be able to, to make that into blaze powder. And there's carrots all over the place around here. All right, let's go and use this crafting table. And let's make that into blaze powder. And then I should be able to make a, an eye of ender, which should be here. And then I should be able to make a ender chest, which is here. There we go. Look, I actually managed to, to make it. And I'm just going to go and plonk that down here, uh, just next to, to Fred's bed down in the corner there. And so here we go. Here is Fred's room 100% completed. So uh, let's let's leave uh, Fred alone. Let's live him, uh, let him have some privacy and he can carry on uh, hanging out in his uh, bedroom up there and uh, let's go and finally start building this hot air balloon oh no i need to feed the pigs i need to feed the pigs first as well pigs look what i got tasty tasty carrots get them while they're orange and hopefully yay we got a little baby piggy wig as well hello you can have a uh, have a carrot as well there baby piggy wig i'll just try and throw it over the fence for you there anyway I am now finally <laughs> going to start building this hot air balloon. And uh, the place that I wanted to build it uh, is right down here on the end. Uh, there's a bit of an empty land here, which I've not built anything on. And so I think if I build it right here, then it should look okay. And I'm going to be doing it uh, with the, the normal stampy cap colours. So it's going to be uh, orange with a big white stripe in the middle of it. Uh, but before we build the actual balloon, part of the hot air balloon, we need to build a basket. So let me go and put down a crafting table here. And uh, we're going to use use uh, oak wood and a lot of oak wood planks to build it and so we're going to use some steps as well uh, to go and build the the bottom of it uh, just to try and make the the whole thing look more rounded and we need the the steps to kind of be upside down a bit so if you stand a little bit back there sure but I need to try and get the steps so they're upside down there we go and so I need to get rid of that one and I'm going to have three along here one two three and then I'm going to do that the same on each side and this is basically going to be the the bottom of it if I go like this actually I, I might go in more I think because this is the bottom layer I might have this a bit smaller so if I go like that one two three and then one two three and place that last one there so that's going to be the bottom of the basket and then this next bit here is going to be raised along like this and so if I go along like that and then like that as well and then do the same here. I need to make a, a few more wooden planks. And then this is going to be what our, our basket's going to be like. And then we're going to do uh, fences. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, Sherbert. Sorry, Sherbert. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. He's like hiding. Oh, I didn't. It was an accident, Sherbert. I promise. There we go. He loves me again. <laughs> the, uh, the best way to a dog's heart is giving them food. I'm sure if you've got a dog yourself, you know that is very true. <laughs> if you ever want your dog to love you, just give it a bit of food. And so this is kind of what the, the basket's going to look like. And we're going to add a, a few more decorations as well. I'm going to go and make some some trap doors, which I'm going to uh, go and put around the, the outside. I think I made two too many, but it doesn't matter. So we're just going to go and uh, plonk these on and then flap it up like that and flap it up the, the whole way around here. And then we're going to add some more stairs in the middle just to make it uh, look, look a little bit more rounded and kind of make it look a, a little bit more like seats. And it looks like Lee uh, is already being busy uh, adding all the fences in, uh, which are going to go up to the, the top to where the, the hot air balloon is going to be. And look at me, look at me. I'm finally eating my vegetables. You know what? 
carrots are actually pretty tasty. I'm not a big fan of apples, as a lot of you know, but carrots aren't actually too bad. <laughs> and I think it makes my fur nice and glossy as well, so that's good. <laughs> you can't really see because I'm covered up in armor at the moment. All right, anyway, it's getting dark, so I think we should be okay staying up all night. Uh, but let's put down a, a few torches just so we can see what we're going to do. And uh, actually, I might make some, some ladders just so I can get easily in and out. Uh, which should make this whole processor a whole lot easier. So there we go, I got nine ladders. And I can go and plonk these around the outside like this. And then that way I should be able to, to easily jump in and out. And actually what I might do is put down some, some glowstone in the middle. Yeah, there we go, I got one piece of glowstone on me. And so I might put that right down in the middle, uh, just so we can see what we're going to do. So if I go and put that down here, there we go, that's going to light up the whole place. And I might change these blocks on the outside. Oh, sorry, Sherbet! Sorry, Sherbet, I'm sorry! I hit him again, Lee, have you got any more food to give him? I'm sorry, Sherbet. He keeps coming out of nowhere, to be honest. <laughs> Every time I break a block, he's just there behind it. Oh, I feel mean now. I didn't mean to do that. And it was with an axe. I'm sorry, sure, but I love you. I do. Right, anyway, let's go and try and add these, um, these stairs around. I want them up so they're this way round. And uh, then this way, these can be like kind of like seats uh, all the way around the outside. And I might change some of these blocks into stairs as well. What do you reckon? If I do... Oh, here we go. If I do that, I can add stairs there and there and then if I do the same on this side then it should like make the the middle look a little bit like a, a cross I think and uh, I think I think this looks quite cool there we go this is the the inside uh, of my of my basket and here we go Lee's adding a furnace and the furnace is actually gonna uh, be what powers the hot air balloon I think we should do it a little bit higher if I do it in between all of those fences there and so basically we're gonna put something in the the furnace to burn and then the heat is actually what makes the hot air balloons float. The way they work is you have a fire here and all of the, the heat rises and goes into the, the top of the balloon and then that makes the, the whole balloon blow up and then that lifts you up. So that's how it's gonna work. Uh, but I'm gonna need to make a, a few more fences first uh, to go and uh, go up to the top. I'm actually uh, running out of wood. Do you have any small uh, spare wood on you, Lee? If not, I might have to go and uh, cut down a, a few trees. I might be okay, actually. I do have uh, quite a few on me. And I think Lee might have been throwing some fences down here. There we go. And so we can go and carry on do the rest. I don't actually know if we need that many more. I'm gonna make it symmetrical and I'm gonna do the fences going up uh, here to this side as well then I might link them uh, all across a little bit and yeah then we can go and uh, get to work building the the actual balloon part of the hot air balloon considering how distracted I was getting at the beginning of the video and going off doing other things uh, we've actually started to make some some pretty good progress here so those fences can go up to here and then I'm going to go and do the same on this side uh, I'm gonna have to go and just put down some dirt again so I can hop up on top so one two three, four, and then if I go and do four on this side as well, one, two, uh, three, four, like that, then this can all link up. And now let's go and start doing the, the rest of the balloons. It looks like Lee's already made a, a bit of a start. And so uh, balloons are actually kind of weird shapes, to be honest. So uh, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to work out, but we're gonna, we're gonna try our best. So if I go out like this, I guess if we keep just kind of going up and out uh, the whole way up, uh, hopefully we can end up with some sort of balloon shape. Normally when I'm building anything kind of complicated like this, I normally just start building and then like I get a big shape and then I just keep changing it and adding it and uh, trying to make it look even better as I go. So I need to get rid of that block there. And uh, then if we keep going up like that, actually they, they start up going like... Um, going more vertical and then the higher you get the more rounded they get so let's let's go up again on this layer and then we go out one and then up again two and uh, then we should be getting to the the main body of the balloon if, if that makes any sense <laughs> does that make any sense am i speaking gobbledygook here lee i think i might be speaking gobbledygook <laughs> i usually do right let's go up out this way then then i need to do one in the middle there then get rid of that block and then if i go out like this and get rid of that one and then this should look okay. Then we're going to build up two again, and then we'll get to the the main bulge, and that's going to be where the uh, where the the white stripe's going to be as well. And hopefully uh, we got enough orange wool. I think we had some more in the chest over there. And as you can see, all of my sheep are dyed orange and white as well. So uh, we can go and do some some more shearing if we need. So let's go uh, up a little bit higher here. Hopefully this isn't going to be too thin. Uh, but now we can go out once more, and then this is going to be the the main part. And I want to be careful. I just saw sherbet down there. I don't want sherbet to to teleport 
caught up to me and then end up falling down. Sherbet's already had a not very nice <laughs> video so far. We should do a surprise. What should, what should we do as a surprise for Sherbet, Lee? We should do something nice at the end of the video. We could maybe just take Sherbet for a walk. Something I never do is take my dogs just for a walk. And that's something that you should always do. You should always, if you do own a dog, uh, take your dog for a walk regularly. And it's good fun for both of you. And uh, it's very good for the, the dog as well. So let me go and put down uh, a torch and uh, go and build out a little bit more. And then a little bit more this way. And then, oh no, did that wrong. It's really annoying you got to like place down a block as like a little marker every single time and then just get rid of it straight away. And so here we go. So I got orange here. Then we, if we build up once more around here, then we can do our two stripes of yellow and uh, uh, no, not yellow, sorry, uh, two stripes of white and then go back to doing the, the rest of the orange. And it's difficult because I've not jumped down yet. I have no idea what any of this is going to look like. This could all look rubbish from down at the bottom, but hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully I'm just going to hop down and I'm going to look up and this thing is going to look amazing. And oh, Sherbet's jumped up. Right, Sherbet. Um, let's do this smart, shall we? If you sit down, I'm going to try and very carefully... Oh, oh, nudge you down this way. There we go. You can... No, stay. No, stay. Sherbet, Sherbet, no, I'm not playing. Okay, are you good? Are you settled? You stay there. I'll give you something. You can have a, a few carrots to eat. Trust me, they're actually pretty tasty. <laughs> you can have a few carrots and you can stay happy down there. And we're going to come and grab you once we've finished the, the rest of the balloon. I do not want Sherbet to be jumping off of this thing. Right, anyway, so now we need just to go up two more uh, with the orange, and then we just need to go and start building the whole thing in together, and so it's going to meet together at the top. So let's just try and do this uh, as quickly as we can then, shall we? Uh, so now, Lee, it just needs to keep just going in uh, one row every single time. It's so dark up here, uh, we probably should have had uh, I'd had, had a sleep. Let's put down uh, some torches for now, just so we can see what we're going to do. I, I got so many big, massive orange and, and white things in my world. It's right next to my huge rocket ship, which is exactly the same. It's it's nice to have my, my stampy cat colours and there's actually a flag that I put on the moon uh, which is the in the stampy cat colours as well. So I'm properly taking over the, the entire world with my <laughs> with my with my orange and white stripes. And so let's go and carry on building up this way. And I'm so looking forward to flying over my world because something that I've never done is actually show all of my world. Like around my house and my fun land, you've seen that loads, but I've not shown you what the rest of my world looks like. So I'm not just gonna be flying over my town or my fun land or my house. I'm gonna fly around my entire lovely world for the first time time ever you're going to be able to see absolutely everything and uh, here we go i think this could be the the top here lee if we just go and fill all of this in maybe uh, break away these edges a bit uh, like this and then just make it so it's not so flat at the top and hopefully what we've built uh, looks okay i'm actually surprised how quickly we did it we also need to get sherbet out somehow so let me try and right if i'm gonna jump down this hole lee and oh <laughs> I was going to say, you stay here um, <laughs> to, to fill in the gap. Right, I think there's a torch down here I need to get rid of. Right, I'm going to try and jump down the hole. And as I jump through, clog up that gap. That's what my challenge is. Right. Oh, <laughs> I missed. I missed. And hi, Sherbert. Sure, I told you I wouldn't forget about you. <laughs> um, okay, I guess that's a place we can escape. Okay, there. Lee, if you pile up and clog up that uh, block, uh, then I'm going to try and get me and Sherbert sure, out of here. Right, is there any escape down here? Uh, not really. I think it might be easier uh, to get out the side here if I do that. Here we go. Here's a little doorway. <laughs> we can just go and jump through. Right, so if I go and jump down here, and then all I need to do is clog in those final two blocks. And then if I run over here a little bit, uh, then Sherbet should hopefully uh, teleport to me and uh, be safe out of the, the hot air balloon. And look at all those googlies over there. Looks like we've got a, another googly island. Oh, they're all trying to get into the farm. I think they heard me saying that I like the carrots and they all wanted to break in and stop stealing my carrots, googlies. <laughs> oh dear, well, it should be day soon anyway. And uh, I think I saw Sherbet coming to join me. Sherbet's round here somewhere. There he is. And let's take a look at the hot air balloon. There it is. It doesn't look too bad, actually. Uh, it's a bit smaller than I thought it would look like, but I think it, it does look pretty cool. It does look like a hot air balloon, doesn't it? And I'm going to do what I said I always do, and I'm going to go and uh, probably add a, a few more details just to uh, just to make it look a bit better. I think if I uh, climb up here 
and then if I go and put down like a, a block there maybe and then a block there and if I do that on uh, all of the the other sides uh, that might just make the the whole thing uh, look a little bit uh, more rounded I kind of like it being a little hot air balloon though I like the fact that the balloon isn't uh, massive and really wide it's kind of like a, a nice little balloon and flying over the world it is going to be just me as well so it's not like it needs to to carry a big weight I know I do eat lots of cakes for breakfast but I don't actually weigh <laughs> too much so uh, I don't need a, a massive balloon so I need to go and do that and then this should be uh, the hot air balloon 100% uh, completed let's go and have one last look at it that looks amazing should we try out the the furnace then shall we I'm not gonna bit uh, put too much uh, in uh, because I don't want it to go flying away so what can we what can we cook um, I don't really have anything on me to cook. I guess if I put this in, and then if I if I cut down a, a little bit of wood here, I can just cook the uh, the wood with the coal, and then I can just see to make sure that the, the furnace is working okay. But as I said, I don't want to put too much in, because I don't want it to, to go and start taking off yet. So if I go like this, if I put some wood in the, the top, and then one piece of the coal at the bottom, and then there we go, look, the furnace is all lit up. And so the, the fire from that furnace uh, will be making the, the hot air balloon all fill up and it should rise and uh, take me round on a tour of my lovely world. So there we go, we managed to do it. So my next video, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for my 200th special. Uh, but for now, that's the end of this video. So I want to say a big thank you to Lee for helping me build my hot air balloon. A big sorry to uh, Sherbet for attacking you throughout the entire video. And oh, don't go and face the wall. I'm sorry, I love you, Sherbet. Right, I'm going to take Sherbet for a walk. <laughs> and while I'm doing that, I'm going to end the video. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!